Hi, I'm Lucy and today we're going to be fixing small bedrooms. So when fixing a small bedroom, I like to start with my walls because I like to call my wall the skin of the interior of a, of a place because it's the largest part of your interior, always the largest part, always the most noticed part of your interior. If you have a stain on your wall, it's always very easy to notice. Apart from the floor, the wall gives the base to the color selection and the things that you'll be needing for an interior. It's always advisable to select bright colors instead of sharp colors for your small bedrooms. And even if you're going to do wallpapers, it's always better to do really toned down wallpapers like blue, white, things that are still on the calm and relaxed level. I would always say, if you don't know what colors to do, just use white then you can throw in colors here and there with your accent piece you know how you pick blacks when you don't know what to wear that's how you pick white when you don't know what color to choose for your wall and for small bedrooms white really makes the room look spacious it makes the, it increases the volume um the visual volume because obviously not the actual volume and colors like red and yellow are colors of activity they make you want to interact talk reds are good for meeting rooms and yellows are good for playgrounds you shouldn't have them in your small bedroom the floor is a very vital part of your room it's it has effects on what you're going to put in your room what you're going to um, take out of your room when choosing the floor of a small room it's always better to choose plain colors if you're in a rental apartment and they've already fixed your tiles your um, floor and it's really something very busy it's always better to go in with a rug that does less and covers a good amount of the space that the busy flooring is taking you can also go for alternatives like stick and peel tiles they are very easy to use and rental friendly whenever you're leaving you can just pick them out and take them away it's always very advisable to hang up your curtains very close to the ceiling if you're in a small space, if you're in a small bedroom, because it increases the visual volume of your space, it increases the visual height of your space, it makes the ceiling look way wider and bigger. It's really a luxurious idea to have your curtains touching the floor in your room in your bedroom it really makes the room look rich but in a small bedroom you need that space for your eyes to move around you really don't have to bring down your curtain all the way to the floor it's always very advisable to buy decorative piece that you really need don't just buy them because they are fancy and they are fine buy decorative piece that also serve a purpose that are not just serving aesthetics but have function just like a decorative clock decorative lamp it's always very advisable to make sure they are functional because in small bedrooms you should try to be minimal in your selection of things small descent table lamps are always very advisable in your small spaces because whenever you get floor lamps you're going to be occupying floor space and most times floor lamps are really tall and they also end up occupying the circulation space for the eye it's always better to get a really nice and decent table lamp and have them maybe by your nightstand or your vanity or reading table that's fancy enough that's good enough but floor lamps in small rooms cancel since the bed is the biggest furniture in a space it usually catches the most attention in a room so when selecting sheets for your bed always try to make sure you avoid patterns and dark colors too for your small bedroom get rid of all the furniture that you're not using always make sure your furniture is not too dark or bulky embracing transparent furniture in your small bedroom will make and allow the eyes keep moving if you want your small bedroom to appear bigger always go for low height head furniture it's always a good idea to stay away from tables and stools that are too tall for your room keeping it low to the ground will always make your ceiling appear wider and more spacious it's always better to get a furniture piece that serve more than one purpose 
in order to minimize space and also get foldable furniture piece in if your room is really small oftentimes you tend to get very dramatic about headboards but that showroom headboard is not really needed in your small bedroom so get rid of it get rid of that idea that you need a showroom headboard in your small bedroom you could create more storage with that headboard space sometimes we find ourselves in places that have just one window one source of natural light and sometimes really low amount of even artificial light and whenever you're trying to increase your artificial light always be mindful of how bright it is it's always better to increase your artificial light but look for warm tone light that will make you feel cozy that will make your room feel cozy and not tiring also in order to increase your natural light in your space it's always better to introduce reflective surfaces like mirrors and um, reflective art frames in your bedroom either placing them adjacent or opposite the light source which is the window this also works for artificial light reflective surfaces just generally bounces out the light being provided mirrors are essential in making the room look bigger because it reflects the light so in selecting a mirror it's always very important to avoid mirrors that sit on the floor because they are going to be occupying floor space it's always better to hang up your mirror have it on the wall and reduce the amount of space you're using on the floor so you can have enough space for circulation always make sure to have enough organizers in your closet if you're being provided one in your small bedroom or in your wardrobes because this way things are being designated to storage boxes that way you could easily ad identify where things are being placed without cluttering your room I hope I was able to solve your small bedroom problems. Thank you for staying to this part of this video. I will see you in my next. Thank you.